this just an hour ago, and we continue to go through it. WikiLeaks posted more than 2,000 additional emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign chair, John Podesta. This is the hashtag Podesta file, I think, online. That makes more than 4,000 so far, and we're learning from them that Mrs. Clinton talked about insider information about the raid on Osama bin Laden's hideout with a group of bankers in Canada. What does the CIA think about that? Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris live in D.C. For more now, Catherine, good morning. Well, thank you, Bill, and good morning. These transcripts released by WikiLeaks show Hillary Clinton gave a speech to a group of Canadian business leaders in November 2013. And during that speech, Clinton reveals details of the 2011 raid that killed Osama bin Laden. Clinton specifically discusses sources and methods, which appears to be a violation of national security. Clinton tells the business group that an intercepted phone call was part of the intelligence trail that led to the al-Qaeda leader's compound in Pakistan. The transcript reads in part, quote, the people who were the analysts and collectors and good old-fashioned spies who were gathering bits and pieces of information, some of them from cell phone conversations. He has just made a phone call. He said, this is the phone call. We need to figure out where he is. Then we need to follow him. And that is how we found this compound in Abbottabad. A former intelligence officer said Clinton's team showed no respect for classified information and the investigation did not hold them accountable. On special operations, operational security is paramount. Uh, and one of the things they see is um, a lack of integrity uh, and a lack of discipline uh, on the part of those who have looked into the incident. Asked by Fox News if Clinton's discussion of the bin Laden operation was cleared, that's a standard step for discussing classified information in public. A CIA spokesman said they had no comment on her speech or her claim that a phone intercept played a role tracking down bin Laden. Bill. Wow, is there a double standard in that, Catherine? Well, on its face, it does appear to be a double standard. This was a paid speech by Hillary Clinton, and the U.S. government recently took legal action against the author Matt Bissonnette. He's the former Navy SEAL who wrote about the mission in his book, No Easy Day. Bissonnette has now been ordered by a federal court to pay the government nearly $7 million from his profits and in exchange, a criminal investigation into the unauthorized disclosure of classified information is being closed. The CIA would not say whether similar action is being considered in Clinton's case, and the Clinton campaign is not commenting on WikiLeaks full stop. Wow. Thank you, Catherine. More to come. You're welcome. Catherine